Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So uh, one of the most popular questions that people ask me is, um, you know, do I look at any other funds? Uh, you know, do I just only mo mainly look at these funds here uh, that I own? Uh, no, at one point I own a lot of funds. I own a lot of stocks and funds. I own Coca-Cola, I own Altera Group, Realty Incomes. I own all the shipping companies. Uh, I own pretty much 20 something REIT at one point. I own a lot, uh, but then I just consolidate them because it's not that important to own them now. What I wanna do is I wanna take that money and just put into income and generate as much income as possible. Uh, so yeah, I own a lot, and we're gonna review that. I'm gonna show you my watch list because at one point, my watch list is all the one that I own and I still watch them on a regular basis because eventually I'm gonna buy them again. All right, so the purpose of this video is really not just talk about the watch list. We're going to review that. But I want to talk to you about something that it's just a phenomenon that it just, it just it keeps coming over and over again. And I'm going to show you the actual uh, you know, message here. So this way you can understand where the base of this foundation coming from. Um, okay, so I'm going to go group discussion. Mm -hmm. And, and guess what? That that's literally how much I can put in right now, too. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. yeah. Now, I'm, all right. So now I can't find his message. Maybe did he delete it? Okay, let me go to the other video. All right. Let me, if it's not here, then he he delete the message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he must have deleted the message because I don't even see it anymore. Wow, wow, I was gonna talk about this message. Uh, and uh, it's crazy because it's deleted. Um, let me let me just double check one more time. And uh, so I have a whole plan to, uh, you know, to make a video about this because is, is he is he right? Uh, let, let's, well, I posted this morning, so I have the, I have a screenshot of it. And because I'm asking the question, so let me go find the uh, the actual message itself. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. So this is the actual message. Um, so you know, so this way we all can learn. I mean, if you're gonna make comments like this, uh, I want to learn from it. You know, the the question I ask is: Is he right? Is 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 you know is and it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing. First of all, I don't want to make it sound like I'm critiquing, I, it, but it's just facts. We, you, you wrote a message. I'm going to answer the question, and uh, and I'm going to I'm going to say, it. okay, it's so I made the statement. I'm going to get thirty dollars for the rest of my life. When I first started my journey, if you put a thousand dollar, and that's what I did. I put a thousand dollar, and it's really a thousand. You get fifty dollar, but during the time, I only made thirty dollar because I bought other stuff. Okay. And uh, thirty dollars a month, and the the beauty of this thing is that I'm gonna get that thirty dollar, literally for a long, long time, unless unless something happened to Tesla, unless or Tesla, you know. So yeah, and, and it's pretty much I'm gonna get it, and I'm not gonna live that long of a life. So I'm pretty sure Tesla's gonna live longer than my life. Uh, so so he said it's not thirty dollar for the rest of your life. Okay, period. That's fine. That's your opinion. What do you think happen if you stop reinvesting your dividends? All right, let me just ask that question. At, at some point, okay, so the, the old, a lot of, lot of people out there, um, they buy growth stocks, okay? Whatever growth stock, let's say Coca-Cola, they buy Coca-Cola or they buy IBM, whatever company is, all right? And then 20, 30 years from now, they're going to have like a million dollars worth of these uh, growth stocks. And then they're going to do the 4% rule and, and then... Uh, to sell their growth stocks, and then they live off on that. That's the four percent rule. That's what. That's how most people do the retirement on these stock, and they live off four percent of their purchase of their of this. They sell their stock four percent at the time, right? The other thing, the other method is that people do is that they uh, they essentially take that money uh, somewhere before they retire. They transition to income, income dividends. You know, like SCHD or whatever fund out there. Uh, you know, generate income, go get income stocks, and then they live off the income. 
what what is the difference between what I'm doing instead of waiting 60? I'm, I want to do it now. I I, I I don't understand the mindset of this thing. I, I just want to go after income. I don't want to wait until I'm 69 or 67 years old when I'm retired and then convert my growth into income. I want to buy the income fund now. So what do you think happened when you stop reinvesting your dividends? Well, that's true in every single dividends investment. What happened when you stop re reinvesting? Nothing happened. You, you just, you could, I mean, uh, you know, depending on the fund, depending on the market, you get your money. You get your money. That's, that's pretty much it. You get your money. You know, uh, let, me, let me just put it this way. I do not own any fund. I do not own any fund that does not pay me. The, the, the smallest fund that pay me is 31 cents. That's TSLP. TSLP 30, pay me 31 cents. I don't have any fund that pay me that pay 20 cents. You know, so uh, they're all paying high yield, high yield. So what he's saying is that if you if you stop reinvesting, you don't you don't need to reinvest. The reason why I make this video is this: that it's it's really the main reason why to answer this question. But I'm 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 going to just stop contributing. Oh, let me show. I, I forgot you can't see what my screen is, so I'm going to show you. All right. Let's just go and continue on reading, and we'll come back and analyze this thing. It's not $30 for the rest of your life. What do you think happen if you stop reinvesting your dividends? The fund will continue to drop and drop and drop. The fund will continue to drop. So he's talking about the stock price. Or are you talking about my fund? All right, I don't know. Your $6,000 a month, which is what I make, by the end of one year would be down to 3000 a month because your paying bill, taxes, and monthly dividend payout will continue to decrease. Exactly, that's what, that's what income fund is. I'm supposed to pay. I'm supposed to pay my bills. Yeah, I'm going to take $6,000 a month and pay. Pay my bills. What's the issue? It will go down to 3000 a month because you pay bills. Yeah. Uh, well, matter of fact, it's going to go down to zero because I'm going to use all 6000 Every month, I'm going to use all 6000 I have back tested this and TD Ameritrade on demand. I told you before, you have to reinvest the dividends. First of all, you don't tell people anything. It's it's YouTube, dude. I don't know who this guy is. Like, you cannot tell people. It's, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you use words like that? I told you before. Like, I don't know you. I never met you. How do you say it? I told you before? I never met you. I don't know who you are. You may know who I am, but I don't know who you are. I literally don't know who you are. Uh, so when you said I told you before, it it, it doesn't it, it doesn't resonate. It, it, it doesn't matter. You can tell me a million times. It's YouTube. It's the internet, dude. There's only three people that can tell me what to do: God, my mother, and my wife. Other than that, it doesn't really matter what you say. It's the internet. So. That is crazy to even come up and type that in a sentence. I told you before, you have to reinvest the dividends. But you say it's not a debate. I can live off 10000 a month. Anyone can. Yeah, it's not a debate. It's not a debate because it's my portfolio. I, it's my portfolio. So it's my problem, my portfolio, my situation, not your situation, not your problem, not anybody else's problem. It's my problem. So it's not a debate. It's not a debate at all. It's a personal journey. It's a personal journey, just like just like your portfolio is a personal journey to you. The point is, the second you start living off your ten thousand a month instead of reinvesting, your ten thousand will be down to eight thousand a month in six months or more because you chose to spend it rather than reinvest. Dude, you're getting eight thousand. Even in, even his scenario, you get eight thousand dollars a month. At eight thousand dollars a month, people would love to have eight thousand dollars a month. People love to have ten thousand dollars a month. I'm on my way to get ten thousand dollars a month. What is the beef? What is the concern that I'm going to make ten thousand dollars a month, and you believe that my portfolio is going to be down because I'm making ten thousand dollars a month? So, so the reason I that this come up is is the the main concern is 
is is he believe that my there's two things my portfolio my my value my stock which is this uh Tesla you know right now i have $87,000 cost basis right now it's down 6000 it's all depending on what i buy if i buy coney it's up i i bought tesla that's why it's down but eventually i'm going to own all of them because i'm i'm planning to own all of them so and and the number of Coney or Tesla or all the other fund gonna far succeed this Tesla amount right now is forty six percent of my portfolio, but eventually it's gonna come down to ten percent of my portfolio. And, and 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 because I'm gonna own so many of them, and then eventually if Tesla come up, this number is not gonna be negative anymore. Just like Coney, just like everything else. Yeah, it's it just it's just that's the market driven. We don't know what three years look like. We don't know what five years look like. Two years from now, Tesla could have been a thousand dollar stock. You know, Kathy Wood predict this thing gonna be ten X in about five years. She has a, a horizon, she has a five year horizon for Arc Invention, and she believed that Tesla will be ten X. So ten years from now, this number is gonna go away. Not only that, my portfolios keep growing. Keep growing. I'm not gonna sell this. So it doesn't really matter what the price is. I mean, Google at one point was $21, now it's $16. Is Google bad now? Don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's the market. It's the market. Yeah, Google, Google, the Yield Max Google is $16 right now. But at one point it was $22, $21. And guess what? That Yield Max Google is gonna come down to $14, $15, just like, just like, Tesla here in a few, and may go in a single digit, just like Tesla. It's just, it's just the underlining stock. That's what he's talking about. So that's number one, is the, the value of the price coming down. But this is an income fund. It's not just like stock. This is a stock. If the value of Tesla come down to 100, I should be concerned. But as long as these guys paying income, I am care less. I'm not planning to sell. I'm not planning to sell. I'm going to... I'm gonna. It's gonna generate income. An income fund generate income. That's it. That's the sole purpose in life. And what kind of income? They're doing option trading income. They're not selling microwave. They're not selling a a a, tel, a cell phone. They 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 do. They make money option trading. Holy cow! What can go wrong with that? Unless Tesla fail. That's the only reason that you don't make money. Is Tesla fail? Uh, the, the main point is he probably doesn't understand what option trading is. So that's that's probably the, the, the issue. Yeah, so, but either way, man, I'm making $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month. And you're going to, okay, so that so the, the first issue is that my, my, my fund is going to de de depreciate in value, depreciate. So I, I spend $80,000. Right now it's $70,000. And matter of fact, it went up. Before it was sixty thousand. Before I was down twenty thousand. If you see this before, I was down twenty percent. Now I'm down only twelve percent, and this was like seventy sixty thousand dollar. Now it's eighty two thousand. Okay, so what's going back up? All right, all right. So, so that's number one is the value of my portfolio, which is irrelevant because I'm generating income. That's that's what I'm going after. All right, all right. So number two, he believed that my portfolio, the income. It's going to depreciate where where I'm only going to get, I don't know, from some reason, from 10000 8000 let's say that I depreciate $2,000, 20%. Yeah, that's the market. Some days you have good option trading and some days you have bad option trading. Some days the VIX is very high and sometimes the VIX is very low. If the VIX is very high, you're going to make a lot of money on option trading. If the VIX is very low, then 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 guess what? Uh, option trading is not going to do so well. You're not going to get a dollar like Connie or two dollars. You may get only uh, 40 cents or 50 cents. But I base the $6,000, I base my $6,000 on a 40 cents Tesla. And in 2023... It hit 20 cents, uh, 40 cents once. The whole year. In 
In 2023, it hit it hit 40 cents one, which is in May, right here in May. And then and then it hit again in February in 2024, two times since it existed. That's that's a pretty good odd. That's a pretty good odd. I'd rather take that, <laughs> you know. But the, the point is, I get $10,000 a month, and this guy is concerned about my portfolio. That is crazy, man. That is just crazy. That is crazy. This is, this is, this is the part that, that people just, like, I, I don't understand. People are losing their mind. Why, why, why the deep hatred toward this? Why? Why is there a deep hatred to, to, uh, toward me? I don't. I don't understand. I. I, I like. If you don't like me, that, I guess. Guess you don't like me because I'm just making video about my portfolio, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. There's nothing you can do about it. There's not. You know. Don't watch it. Don't subscribe to it. Don't. Uh, don't hang out. I have no idea. I have no idea why you watch my channel. I have no idea. I'm. I'm. I'm a nobody. I keep telling you, everybody, this all the time. I'm a nobody. I have no skill in this thing. I'm not a guru. I never went to school for it. I never worked in a cubicle. I never had a suit. I never had a boss. I never had a, a guy who's in a cubicle asking for a stapler. I don't know anything about anything that you guys talking about. I know how to make money and that's all I'm doing. And what I'm doing is generating income. Generate income. I'm getting. I'm. I'm on my way to get ten thousand dollars a month. I don't have ten thousand dollars a month right now. I have six thousand dollars a month. But I'm on. There's nothing stopping it. I don't need to construe it anymore. I don't need to put my money into this fund anymore. That's the beauty about it. I don't have to put my money into this. Like I get paid for my salary. I don't even touch it anymore. My salary. I. I turn it off, and it's no longer affecting it. So every month I get six thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars, whatever the market is. I'm going to use that money to, to invest. I don't need to touch anymore. At some point, so at some point, man, you just you guys just got to give up. It's just crazy. This is crazy. How many? How how much? How much money do I have to make to prove to you that just leave us alone? That's all I'm asking. Just leave us alone, man. We're doing fine. We're making money. We're going to do our own life. We're going to live our life. I'm going to make $10,000 a month. And I'm going to continue on. There's nothing stopping it. I'm on my way to make it. Just like I'm on my way to make 5000 Just like I'm on my way to make 6000 Now I'm on my way to make 7000 There's nothing stopping it. Because I'm taking the $6,000. I'm going to go buy some more stocks. Go buy some more income fund. Every month, I should generate two hundred to three hundred dollars in the, for the next month. You know, and continue to keep growing. I'll give you an example. Uh, IWNY is coming up here three hundred dollars. All right, or three hundred shares. I'm going to get paid by Clip and IWNY. That's two thousand dollar, and the price is eighteen ninety eighteen twenty right now. Then I'm going to buy it on the. I'm gonna buy in the X date, so it'll come out, come out to be like 1720 or something like that. All right? I'm gonna buy a hundred share. Kabam! That's that's a hundred share right off the bat. That's two thousand dollar hundred share. Bam! And next month I'm gonna buy another hundred share. So in seven months I'm gonna get a thousand. I'm gonna get a thousand share in here. So in seven months, if I keep doing it, they pay roughly a dollar each. On dividends, let's say even they pay ninety cents, it's still a lot. I'm gonna make a thousand. I'm already making six thousand dollars a month. So in seven months, in seven months, as long as I keep buying IWMY, I'm taking six thousand dollar. I'm taking two thousand dollar, which to buy IWMY in seven months, I will have seven thousand dollar, guaranteed. There's nothing stopping that. You know so. I, so I don't understand where um, where the confusion come from. I don't understand why the people, um, you know, I, I I really don't understand this argument. The 
the value the value of the stock is the the stock price uh, is coming down yeah but it go up and down depend what i own i mean look at look at connie man connie it's it it's 23 dollars right now look at ymac it's 21 dollar inception was 20 dollar look at tslp it's 22 dollars Yeah, yield max is down right now. That's all it is. It's just Tesla is down. But eventually you're going to come back up. You know? And then and then if you believe that the dividends, maybe they're going to cut the dividends, you know, in a, in a couple of years. Well, that's not the case. That's not the case historical. So you said you did back tests. I don't know what back test you test. I mean, because I'm looking at it. Here's the dividends payout for Tesla. Here's the dividend payout for Tesla. So I'm I'm not sure where where it's coming from. It hasn't dropped below fifty percent yet. It hasn't dropped below fifty percent yield yet. Not one time since its inception. It has generated 50% yield every single month since inception as advertised as, as, they, as they want it, as they plan it. Yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you do you, we do us, and we don't really care, and, uh, and, and don't take it personal. But if you comments like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reply back. And this is my reply back. Dude, your logic is fundamentally flaws. Number one, it's my portfolio. I don't really care about what your opinion is. It's my portfolio. I have to live with it. And I'm making $6,000 a month. I don't know why you take that away from me. I have $6,000 a month. I don't know what you can say about it. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, it's not like I didn't make this up. I mean, this is my Charles Schwab account. That's why I show my account. I'm not showing an Excel spreadsheet or anything like that. If you just do the math yourself, if you just do the math yourself with this number here, I will get $6,000 a month. And yeah, and this is this is when Tesla is paying only 40 cents. But wait until Tesla pay 50 cents or 60 cents. Then I'm going to get $7,000 a month. This is based on Tesla paying very low. Yeah, just do it. So I... You know, you do you, and we, at the end of the day, I'm generating income. This is the crazy part. How do you say no to $6,000 a month? How do you say no to $10,000 a month? The point is, the second you start living off your $10,000 a month, instead of reinvesting, your $10,000 will be down to $8,000 a month. That's the point. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the point. I'm going to live off it. And I don't care. I'm going to live off it. And like, okay, 10000 a month. So what? So what? I don't have to reinvest. All right. With that, I want to say, uh, I want to say hey, good luck. Um, good luck with your journey. I appreciate it. Thank you.